Gemini's, Gemini's, Gemini's. Listen here. I have no beef with y'all, okay? I have no beef with y'all, okay? So stop coming in my comments saying what's why haven't I done Gemini? Y'all can look, go see from the beginning of my channel. I always did Gemini. The views on Gemini started dwindling down. When the views start dwindling down, I take it as you guys are, it's not resonating because you guys are not liking it. You're not commenting, you're not sharing. So if you're just watching the video and you're not liking it or commenting, that's kind of why, you know, we're in, I, I haven't been doing Gemini. Okay. It's not to penalize you. It's just because YouTube is cracking down on you. You have to, you have to get certain metrics. Okay. Especially if you want your stuff monetized, which I do. Oh, you know, bad, you know, but I do. So, um, you know, and just even if it doesn't resonate, I don't want to keep doing it. So, you know, I was having an issue, like I told Libra, because they were saying the same thing, um, where Aries was saying I, w I wasn't giving their energy. They were saying it never resonated. So I stopped doing Aries, and then they requested me to do Aries, and um, now Aries is one of my most watched videos. So it just depends on maybe sometimes I'm not picking up the energy. Um, so if you like the video, like it. If it resonates, please comment. Um, any part of it, you know, just comment, even if it's an emoji, whatever. Um, but I love Gemini's. Like, you guys have no idea how much I, like, I tell the story, I tell everybody, like, Gemini's are my weakness. I've dated at least four. I probably have dated five, but I'm just gonna say four because I don't feel like counting right now. All right, and I married one. I married one of those Gemini's literally have a thing for him so like i love you guys no beef here just metrics all right three two. yeah i don't know what the thing is with me and gemini's but dude all right gemini okay so some of you are unhappy at your job some of you are going to leave your job in july once and for all this is actually really good, Gemini. Okay, even though the Three of Swords, you're like, how is the Three of Swords good? Especially those who like love to work. But you guys love to work, but it's nothing to get a new job. So some of you are definitely getting a new job or you're um, leaving to get a new job. Like you're leaving the job that you're currently at. Okay, some of you are just plain unhappy at your job. All right, the Emperor's here. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries or just, um, this could be a level up, okay? Um, Aries is very much a part of Gemini, okay? So this is a component of Gemini. So um, some of you could be very much bossing up. I hear the ice cream truck. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background, but I feel some type of way because I can't get any ice cream. I don't, never mind. I'm about to go on a tangent. All right, three of wands for family. So some of you are waiting on traveling, traveling with family or away from family, three of wands. Some of you may be waiting on a new addition to the family. So yeah, some of you are waiting on a child to come in. Yeah, new child. Could be with a Capricorn for some of you. Um, new child, new money. Libra was also getting this. Okay. Um, yeah. Definitely looks like some type of, for some of you, it's a worldly possession. Something like money. Or like worldly. Um... Some of you are traveling with family, though. New opportunities with the family. With family, all right. Um, but the Ace of Cups is crowning at the at the you know the month. So this is going to be a good month. It's going to be progressive. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here? The three of Swords. Three. All right, we got cards to fill out. Eight of Pentacles, the Fool card, Eight of Cups. Yeah. So we're going to be walking away from something, but it's going to be beneficial for you. New money. Okay, new opportunities, new money. Um, some of you may be going through financial hardships either for a while or you're just, some of you got fired. Like, I don't want to say that, but some of you definitely got fired. Okay, and because it's not, I don't feel like it was an amicable ending for some of you. It wasn't an ending that you wanted, but it's going to work out. It's like something you needed to do anyway. But you Geminis have, again, a lot of Taurus and Emperor energy, so you're very stubborn. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Empress. OK. 
Okay, so some of you could be moving away from a Taurus or a Leo. Um, some of you could be moving away from a marriage partner or towards marriage. Why is the Six of Swords here with the Empress? Yes, and I'm looking at the Four of Wands. Some of you are definitely going to be um, moving forward pretty fast with someone. But we'll look at that in the relationship spread. I mean, either way, if you're either way, if it's a breakup, um, or if it's you moving for on with this person out of like troubled waters, pretty much. Um, some of you, I feel like you're just moving on to a new person in general. Um, it's good. Six of Swords is a good card. It's after some BS. The Five of Swords. So Six of Swords is good energy. This looks good. Your job may suck right now, but I'm telling you, it looks good. The Eight of Pentacles is definitely something you want for a career, all right? So let's move forward to your relationship spread. If you are a single Gemini and you'd like to see a single reading, please comment below and let me know you'd like to see a singles reading. I'm not going to do them unless, you know, I see that. So the demand is there for it. Um, I have to do a lot of videos, guys, between personals and being a mom of two. It's a lot, so nothing personal just time management all right um let me know if you'd like to see a gemini singles reading also let me know if you would like to see a gemini third party i may already just do the gemini third party reading because i think you guys do like those um some people just watch my channel for the third party readings no beef there um so um just let me know if you'd like to see a singles reading for gemini hi gemini or a um um, third party reading. That's what I was trying to say. Relationships. So this came out first. All right. So we get the hangman at the bottom of the deck. Hangman sucky position that most people don't want to be in if you don't have patience. But it's not too bad. Knight of Swords. Hey, Gemini, you're in here twice. <laughs> Look at you. like It's like popped out. Pull up. Hop out. Nine of Swords. Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Ooh, Devil card. Not that. Emperor, hi. This person is all up in your life in some way. This is somebody deep here. Libra. Seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles. There goes that Four of Pentacles again. So some of you are in a relationship. I don't know. I feel like with the Nine of Wands and the Temperance here, it's definitely a relationship that's either slow to grow or for some reason someone has their guard up and it's slow to grow. It does feel like there is an aha moment where it's like, I do want to be with this person. Um... This is something that I want to move forward in. But I would be careful here with the Seven of Swords and the Devil card. This relationship could be either low vibrational, meaning it's a very sexual relationship or a relationship that causes you to do things you other, otherwise wouldn't do, like drink or whatever, heavily. Um, they may be fearing that this, is really, this relationship is that as well, that it's lower vibrational. I feel like someone also fears rejection. But either way, no matter which way this relationship going, if someone is also um, in a lover's triangle, if someone is doing some secret shit here, because it looks like either somebody is. It may be this person here, though. It may be this person here. But either way, you guys are not letting go of each other. The hangman is here and the four of pentacles. Why is the seven of swords here? This feels like some open relationship situation type shit type of thing. Seven of Swords, three, two, one. Seven of Swords, I see that. Sun card. Some of you, it's a Leo. Someone you're, you're either, it could also be moving towards you or you moving towards them to be together. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Four of Pentacles, three. fortune hermit card so it's kind of like a it, it's like a stalemate it really is it's like a very slow moving relationship it's like someone does it like first i feel like for you hmm i feel like 
this yeah it's a if i don't want to say it's a love triangle but it is i keep getting that feeling especially with these two cards here it's definitely a situation where um either there's just some low vibrational stuff going on here nine of swords i feel like this person may cause you a lot of stress this could be a twin flame relationship where it makes you really um grow this person may test you in other ways it's definitely karmic it's a lot of major arcana is showing up yeah I feel like you may come together with this person. There may be a union, but it's some, somewhere down the line. Not now. Okay? So, Gemini, if you're watching this for the Gemini, if you're looking for the Gemini to commit, I don't think that's going to happen. And, Gemini, if you're looking for the person that you're dealing with to commit in a relationship, I don't feel like they are. Now, if this is a marriage, someone is uh, either someone is possibly cheating. The truth has come out or it will come out. But I feel like for some of you, the truth has came out. Um, and now you're deciding whether or not you're going to move, you're going to leave the relationship or not. There may be some arguing going on, some some conflict as well. But I don't feel like anyone's walking away at this point. It's just going to remain hanged, okay? Definitely a karmic partnership. I know I was kind of like zoned out there for a minute, but I really was trying to like see this in another way. Because I don't like saying everything is third party, but Seven of Swords, Devil, Lovers. It's an, either an open relationship where you're dating someone, it's not that serious and you want them to commit. Or it's a marriage and someone's being um, secretive, whatever, whatever. Okay, so I'm not going to dwell too much on it, Gemini, because, you know, there's going to be people out there that need singles readings. So we'll get into that in their reading. All right, so thank you so much, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please like it, comment if you want me to continue doing Gemini readings. Um, share if you have other Gemini friends that might want to watch. Um, and check out the website for products and services. You can book readings, all that. All right, bye, guys.